Welcome back to another segment of Career Corner. I am here with a JAG attorney. Captain Trent A. Kabasiak. Ooh. So, what is your profession? I am an attorney in the JAG Corps. Currently, I serve as a trial counsel, which is basically like a prosecutor for the United States Army. Hmm. That's neat. It is neat. <laughs> so, where do you work at? I work at the Area 3 Consolidated Legal Center, which is here at Camp Humphreys. Hmm. What sparked your interest to be a lawyer? I can't say for certain. I just decided one day that I wanted to be a lawyer. I know that when I was a kid, I watched a show called Matlock. Are you, did you ever watch the show Matlock? I think that was before my time. Yeah, it makes me sound really old. But it was a great show, um, and Matlock won all his cases, and he sure made some great arguments. And I think that that was the guy. I guess if I had to pick some influence, it had to be Matlock. He was amazing. Sounds I just can't watch that now. How long did it air for? Um, a long time. I don't know that it was legally accurate uh, now that I look back at it, but it was a good show. Yeah. So I heard there's multiple ways again to become a lawyer. Do you, is that true? Uh, yeah, pretty much. You can, you can have a college degree in just about anything and go to law school. We have a standardized entrance test called the LSAT. Hmm. And if you can get a good score on the LSAT and you have a college degree, you can go to law school. So how did you choose to go to law school? I had an undergraduate degree in business management, which I received in 2003, and it wasn't until 2009 that I decided to actually pursue going to law school and become a lawyer. That's the Army was there to help me out. That's pretty amazing. Was college hard for that? Which part? My undergraduate degree, was that hard or was law school hard? Law school. Law school was hard. It was very hard for me. I had been out of school for a long time. I really had no idea what I was doing. Um, it was tough. Let's talk more about 1L year. Um, 1L year, that's the one that everyone's afraid of. What's that? Yeah, it's really tough. That's your first year of law school. I don't know why they call it 1L. They call it 1L, 2L, 3L. It's the three years in law school. And while a, year, a 1L year is the hardest year, it's like learning a language and a rigorous academic study all at the same time. So would you recommend your job to any youths? My job as a lawyer? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like this job. I like it a lot. I think a lot of kids go to college and they get degrees in English and political science and history and business and really don't know what they're going to do with themselves. But if you have a good command of the English language and you like to argue, there's a profession for you out there. It's called being a lawyer. <laughs> um. For the, for the youths and maybe even some adults who might want to do this, what's the day-to-day -day life like for being a lawyer? Well, I don't know. My day-to-day -day life is a little different from a normal lawyer, right? Really? Yeah, I wake up in the morning, I have to do PT with my unit. I don't think a district attorney out in Milwaukee, where I came from, has to get up and uh, do physical exercise. He might, you know. Maybe. They might. I don't know. I know that I have to get up and do that. And then I work for the United States government, which is an awesome responsibility. I have to... <laughs> Is that different? Is that harder to get into than like a normal? Well, in the Army, we're thrown right into the ring huh. using the laws that Congress has provided to us. But if you were out in the civilian world and wanted to get a law, a law job in the Department of Justice, that's a, actually a rather prestigious job. And a lot of people apply for it, and a lot of people don't get it. It would be pretty good. And lastly, for any of the youths out there, or maybe even like an adult, do you have any encouraging phrases of your own? Encouraging phrases. Don't used to really pump them into it. That's exciting. Uh, I like to think that I get paid for the contents of my abstract thoughts. And I tell you to pursue any profession that is the greatest honor and privilege to be paid for the contents of your abstract thoughts rather than the output of your muscles or the input on a data spreadsheet or your ability to count change. That's so cool. Like, I didn't even knew that. Like, I thought that being a lawyer was m much different than just how you perceive things and how you can manipulate them with your mind. <laughs> you make me sound like a telekinetic, Andrew, <laughs> and I don't know if that's an accurate uh, way of describing my job. But yes, my ability to interpret the law and apply it to new situations 
is what makes a lawyer a lawyer. And uh, if you can't if you can't think outside the box and you can't interpret the law to fit new and unique situations, then you're probably in the wrong profession. So between you and me, yeah, it's just you and I here. Do yes, you have I telekinetic agree. powers. No, I do not. No, so I. So they come with the job, like. No. Nor the looks of Scarlett Johansson <laughs> in her recent movie Lucy. Well, thank you for joining us again on Career Corner. Hope to see you again when we cover my I've track. never joined you before. Well, thank you for being on here. Oh, yeah, no problem, guys. It's been terrific. <laughs>